multiply decimals by 10, 100 and 1000 and even with 10,000. Multiplying decimals by 10, 100 and 1000 for that shift the decimal point towards right side. So you have to shift decimal point towards right side. On multiplying a decimal by 10, the decimal point is shifted to the right side by one place as there is one zero in number 10. On multiplying the decimal by 100, the decimal point is shifted to the right side by two places as there are two zeros in 100. On multiplying a decimal by 1000, the decimal point is shifted to the right side by three places. And so on. If there will be 10,000, it has four zeros. So the decimal point will be shifted right side four places. So for example, we have 6.32 and we have to multiply it with 10. Now in 10, there is only one zero. So decimal point will be shifted to the right side one digit because there is only one zero. So it will be shifted one digit, that is, the answer will be 63.2. B part, we have 6.32 again, multiply 100. For that, 100 has two zeros, so decimal will shift right side two places because there are two zeros. So the decimal will shift to the two places on the right side and answer will be 632 point. Now decimal at the end means 632 is the whole part. So we only have the whole part. We do not have anything in the decimal. So we can write it without decimal as 632 without decimal because we only have the whole part here. 6.32 when multiplied with 1000, the decimal will be shifted to three digits because there are three zeros in the thousand. But here we have only two zeros. For that, we need to add one zero ourselves to make the three digits here because the decimal can only be shifted three digits. So I'll add one zero here. And now decimal can be shifted to the three digits. One, two, and three to the right side. And answer will be 6320 point. But we can avoid point because we only have the whole part. We do not have the decimal part. So we have the answer 6320. Some more examples. 8.382 when multiplied with 10,000. So there are four zeros in the 10,000. So decimal will shift to the right side four digits. But here we have only one, two, three digits. But we needed four, four digits. So we'll add one zero here. Now these are the four digits. The decimal will be shifted to the right side. Four digits. So answer will be 83820 point. We can avoid the point at the end. Because we do not have the decimal part again. So it's 83820 when the decimal point is multiplied with 10,000. Next is 0 0.05 when multiplied with 100. So there are two zeros and we will shift decimal right side two digits. So zero will, decimal will be shifted two digits on the right side. So answer will be 0 0.05 point. 0 0.05 is only 5. 5 point means 5 is our answer. Now we have the question 4.7 multiply with 1000. There are three zeros in the thousand. Decimal will be shifted three digits. But there is only one digit. We need to add zeros here. We'll add two zeros to make these three digits. Now we have three digits. One, two, three by adding these two zeros. Now decimal can easily be shifted to the right side. The three digits. So our answer will be 4700 zero, zero, decimal. But we can avoid the decimal as we only have the whole part. We do not have decimal part after decimal. So it's 47,000. It's your time to do some workout. The question 4.3 multiply by 10. 
is equal to write the answers in the comment section we will check the answers later thank you for watching and please subscribe and like and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications of our upcoming videos